there is a chill in the air. Winter has arrived. It might be getting cold and windy outside, but that's no reason to hibernate until spring. There is a renaissance taking place in the sport of ice fishing that is totally revolutionizing the way people think about ice fishing. It's all new, it's all fun, and it's inspiring many to get out and enjoy winter. In the next 30 minutes, you'll have access to some of the best fishing minds in the ice fishing world who have totally redefined this popular sport. Join Tom Zanenko, author, lecturer, and tournament champion as he shows you the modern ice fishing revolution on Vexlar's Ice Fishing Today. Ice Fishing Today is a unique program linked to the World Wide Web, allowing you to learn even more ice fishing secrets that will double your fishing success. Don't go away. An exciting edition of Ice Fishing Today is coming your way. Hi folks, I'm Tom Zanenko, your host on Ice Fishing Today. Now this is a very special kind of program and one I'm very proud to talk to you about because Ice Fishing Today is totally unique and is packed with more information and more inside secrets than ever before possible. How is that done? Simple. We use the World Wide Web. From time to time, you will see an icon jump up on the bottom of the screen and it'll say icefishingtoday.com. If you go to that website, you will find bonus features and extra tips that we just didn't have time to squeeze into today's program. So if you go to icefishingtoday.com, you'll see these bonus features and secrets we just didn't have time to show you. On today's program, we'll be talking about crappie fishing. Now crappies are one of the most enjoyable fish to catch in the wintertime and can be one of the easiest. How do you find a bunch of crappies? You look out on a lake and find out where the fishermen are clustered together. That's one of the great things about winter fishing, is it's a community activity. Young and old, groups, individuals can get out and share camaraderie out on the ice and talk about how to catch fish. Well, you can look out and see different holes on the lake will be crappie holes. Now on today's program, we've got two very special guests. One might be one of the youngest fishing experts that'll ever teach you how to use a Vexilar, and the second one is Mr. Ice Fishing himself, Dave Gens. He's got some tips and secrets on crappie fishing that you have to see because this guy really knows how to do it. Ice Fishing Today will be right back. Hey, do you want to double your ice fishing success? There's one word that'll make you a better fisherman, and that word is Vexilar. A Vexilar stands alone as your single biggest advantage to double your fishing success. Check out the classic FL8 and FL18 and the all new FL12 and FL20. Vexilar's live action, Three color sonar leads the world in reliability and performance. I'm Dave Gans, and I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. Check out Vexilar.com. Can we try something different this time? We are trying something different. We got our new fish trap in the back and our ice armor suits. Yeah, but can we fish different? Hey, aren't you Dave Gans? Yeah. You didn't think we were going to make you fish all those lakes by yourself, did you? At Clam, we go fishing with you. For real help from Dave Gens and Team True Blue, and to win a chance to go ice fishing with Dave Gens, head for the best spot of all, truebluicefishing.com. Well, he's after it. Hi, folks. We're here with Rory Larson from Minneapolis, Minnesota. He is a veteran crappie fisherman, and he's going to share with us some of his secrets for catching deep water crappies today. Rory, I need to know because you're obviously out fishing me today. Yeah. That's a nice fish, buddy. Yeah. It's really easy to catch these fish because you just drop your lure down and then it's like they bite in this spot just as you drop your lure down. You've got the technique, that's for sure. Yeah. How, how long have you been fishing with, with this kind of tactics like this? A couple um, of years? Yeah, about three, four years. Well, I tell you, you've got it mastered. What we did, folks, is we uh, went out on the lake and we saw a group of fishermen around us. As you can see, there's fishermen walking around behind us. This is what you call a crappie hole. Rather than trying to be uh, like a, a pioneer, so many times when you see these ice fishing shows, these guys go out to places where, you know, you never see another fisherman and you go, how do these people find this spot where they caught all these fish? Well, the true fact of the matter is in the wintertime for crappie fishing, it's a family affair. You can get everybody out to be able to catch them the wife, the kids, the dog, and Rory, of course, is probably one of the premier basketball players and crappie fishermen in the wintertime, right, Rory? Yep. He just smokes them, and folks, it's amazing. 
He's not using a bobber, as you've noticed. He watches him on his Vexlar, and he's just yanking these fish up one right after another. As you see, I haven't caught anything else. I'm too busy talking. Is he, oh, ooh, that's a nice one. He's tangled up. Oh, he's up in your deucer line. Another good one. And what we did is we found a group of fishermen out here in the middle of the lake fishing a crappie hole. And we drilled a couple of holes, and we saw that there were fish down there. Rory set up. He's catching some nice eating sized fish. And he's just yanking on them, having a great old time. If ever there was an occasion to make ice fishing a family affair, crappie fishing is it. Because they school up in huge numbers. You can't get them back down the hole. Rory's got a technique for this. Now watch this, folks. What he does is he closes the mouth of the fish, points them down the hole, and away they go. It's amazing. He showed me that technique, and I tell you, he teach an old dog new tricks like this. He learned how to get the crappies going down the hole because they always float up to the top. He says, simple. You close their mouth and you point them down the hole and away they go. It's worked every time. Anyway, we found these guys out here, a whole bunch of people out here. So we just went out by them and said, hi, how's it going? Are you catching any fish? And they said, sure. And I've got a superstar, Rory Larson here, who says he, he can catch crappie anywhere. And so he dropped his line down and I'm watching him. He's, 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 you could see right now. He's <laughs> Talk to the folks and tell them what you're doing, Rory. Just dropping it down, and then you find your lure, and then just jig above a fish, um, and then they just come up. You can watch them come up, and then you just watch your rod tip, and then bite. Wow. Now, Rory, do you have a kind of a rhythm as to how you how, how you're fishing this thing? Slow, fast. No. Or do you just relate to the fish? I just relate to the fish. Because it's interesting, you're, you're always changing depth. I don't know if you folks notice this, is that throughout the day he's always, he'd fish, then he drops down, then he fishes, then he drops down, or he reels back up. Because what I'm looking here on his FL20, as I'm looking here on my 18, is that there are fish in a probably a 15 to 20 foot depth range, uh, as far as spectrum. Which means that, uh, you know, the, the transducer cone is going down, but there might be a fish here, 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 way up here. And as a fish comes directly underneath, he quickly reels up and fishes that fish. Or if that fish doesn't bite, <laughs> that's exactly what he just did. He took a high fish. A high fish comes in, he reels up, fishes that fish, doesn't bite. So what he does then, he's, oh, there's another one down there. <laughs> now he drops down to catch that fish. <laughs> you think, oh, he's just fishing at one spot all the time. No, that's why he's kicking my butt, I think, is because he's fishing a larger column of water. When most people fish, they, you know, fish at 22 feet. But what he's doing is he's always adjusting. And that's the secret. I mean, if this fish doesn't bite and this one bites, he catches this one. He doesn't wait for this one to bite. Yes, we know. <laughs> yes. That's a Rory Larson special. <laughs> Think you should put this in your frying pan. This is the biggest you'll catch. <laughs> well, what's your favorite way of preparing crappies? Fried, fried and breadcrumbs. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Now, have you mastered how to clean them yourself, or you just? Yeah, I clean them by myself too. Really? Yep. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Unless there's a lot of fish. I do some, and then my dad does the rest. I've only been flaying a few years, like only this year, so I'm not that fast at doing it, so I let my dad flay most of the fish. Well, how long have you been using a Vexilar now to catch these fish? Because obviously you've, you're Couple a master of A couple years, like three years. Really? Yeah. Have you shown other people how to use a Vexilar? Yeah, my best friend, Nate. Yeah, he's con trying to convince his mom into buying him a Vexlar now. Here he comes. Yeah, he's all over that. Oh. oh. Oh, there's another. Boy, that fish came up and just killed it. Yeah. You can actually watch it come up the Vexlar as he's fighting it. Looks like a good one. Ah, it's a little one. That's a Tom Z fish right there. <laughs> That's the kind of fish I catch. Well, I better get serious on this. I gotta, <laughs> That's uh, about the smallest fish of the day right there. Well, it's, well, thank you for saying that because I know that's not the truth. Because I did catch small. <laughs> Seems like it, though. 
Now, folks, you can see what, it, what we're going on here is that this is, these are all crappies. One, two, three, four, five. These are all crappies. And that's see? Rory's bait. See, that fish is chasing it. Oh, my gosh. Here he come. He wants it bad. Oh, oh, he missed him again. Here's that fish that he just missed. Here's his bait. It's like a, like a video game, so to speak. You can actually watch the fish react to the bait. Now, he's not react chasing it this time. Now, he's going to stop above him, and then he's going to jiggle to see if any of these other fish want to come. Here comes another one. He's coming fast. He must be a little one. He must be a little guy. Boom, he catches him. You're the man. <laughs> but it, it's, it's really fun. You can watch him. This is a fish coming back up the hole. Let me get this one for you. <laughs> That's just a little guy. No, 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 no. This is your biggest of the day. You go to the camera. See? Rory Larson caught this one. <laughs> Real calls to the camera. <laughs> Hi folks, hey, it's ice fishing time, early ice, and you know what a great tool is? An ice fishing chisel. Just a prod ahead of you, just check the thickness, and especially if you're the first one on a lake, and if it's early ice, or if the weather conditions are just saying, hey, let's use this ice chisel for those reasons. And then let's talk about this ice cracking. So many times we hear this, this comments about this booming noise or this ice crack. Hey, that's part of ice fishing today. It's fun, there's nothing wrong with that. And what really happens is Mother Nature is causing this, this noise, if you will, because of the expansion and contraction of the ice due to the sun, due to the heat and the coldness. It's very, very normal. Be sure for more ice fishing tips, go to icefishingtoday.com and take a kid fishing with you and release some of those fish too. You know, folks, with the FL20, you have very good peripheral vision. I can see from the side. Now, Rory can't see that there's hardly any fish by me, but he's only a, a foot or two away, and I'm watching the fish come up and bite on his bait. That's one of the advantages with... Oh, I, I finally got one. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I caught one. It looks like a little one, though. Yep, yeah, it's a little one. It's a baby. <laughs> baby let's see if your technique works close the mouth point them down the hole goodbye ah, and worked extremely well yep now tell us about your rod and reel here so people understand at home exactly how you're rigging up and how, how you're fishing here you just got a spinning reel and then use a little tiny rod I'm using a noodle rod that bends a lot, but sometimes you can use stiff rods so they don't bend as much. But I like noodle rods so you can see the bite better. So you actually see the strike versus feeling it, right? You watch the yeah. rod tip go? Yeah. I think that's an easier way of catching crap. Oh, look at him coming. Look at him coming. He's on it now. Not biting. He's not biting it. Oh man, I watched that. I saw him come off and boom! I said, if you miss that one, I'm gonna grab the rod from you. You know, I said, set the hook, set the hook. Rory's got another one. Nice fish. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wow, that's a big crappie. That's my biggest crappie ever. Now that is a monster. That's a monster crappie. Yeah. I have to eat humble pie on that one. You <laughs> are the master, no doubt about that. But what do you want to do with them? Let's release them. You're going to let them go. That is a humongous crappie. Rory, you are the man. All right, let's see. Close the mouth, down the hole he goes. Congratulations. They don't get any bigger than that. That's a really nice fish. Well, let's see if we can catch some more. Oh no. Well, I tell you folks, today's been a great day of crappie fishing. We didn't get a chance to show you all the action of all the fish that Rory caught today. But if you go to icefishingtoday.com, you'll be able to see some of the outtakes of all the action of Rory really kicking my butt today. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the hole. <laughs> all right, folks. It's been a great adventure out here with Rory catching fish. Stick around because we're going out fishing with Mr. Ice Fishing himself, 
Dave Gans. You won't want to miss that. So don't touch the remote. Ice fishing today. We'll be right back. Why not look good and stay warm this winter with the Vexilar Cold Snap Suit? Designed by Vexilar product experts who know you need an extra tall collar, an oversized fleece lined hood to keep the cold out. Check out the Cold Snap bibs. They're packed with features and offer waterproof knee pads. Buy them as a set or separately with a price you'll have to see to believe. You can learn more at Vexilar.com or you can order right now from IceFishingToday.com. Want to double your ice fishing success? It's easy. Just check out IceFishingToday.com. No, you don't have to pay anything or sign up to become a member. You just need to have the desire to catch more fish and have fun doing it. IceFishingToday.com is like no other fishing website because it's driven by informative video clips. As an extra bonus, you'll be able to purchase some hard to find ice fishing products directly from the IFT website. So start catching more fish this season, thanks to IceFishingToday.com. Hi, I'm Corey Bechtold. If you want to increase your ice fishing success, check out IceFishingToday.com. Welcome back to Ice Fishing Today. You know, fishing with Rory Larson sure was a lot of fun, but it just goes to show how much ice fishing is a family sport. Get out there, young and old, ice fishing is a lot of fun. And folks, with us in this segment is one of the living legends of ice fishing today, Mr. Dave Gens. Dave, welcome to Ice Fishing Today. It's always a pleasure to be here, Tom. Folks, Dave Gens is credited as being Mr. Ice Fishing for a very good reason. He was one of the true pioneers in figuring out the new modern methods of using Vexilar Marine Electronics for catching fish through the ice. Dave, it was quite a breakthrough. Oh, I remember the first time I seen my jig sink down on that screen. I knew that was a major breakthrough in ice fishing. I tell you folks, when you can see a lure and watch the fish react to it, it's an amazing thing. And Dave's gonna give us a lesson today on how to use Vexilar Marine Electronics, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. But first, Dave, you gotta tell me about this ride. This is amazing, this beautiful Bearcat. Well, it's a wide track, long track, so it goes through the snow, plenty of room for two guys to ride on it. Auger mounted up on the front. That was one of the best things I did to get that up there where I can see it. And my fish trap mounted up on the back so that it's up off the ground. It's not getting beat up when I'm pulling my, you know, across the lake. So, you know, this thing is rigged and ready for ice fishing. Now, Dave, is there any particular reason why you use a snowmobile versus an ATV? Because I know a lot of people use ATVs. Well, I'm an ice fisherman. I'm not a hunter, you know, so I need a snowmobile because it goes in all conditions on the ice. Got it. Got it. Now, folks, if you want to find out how to trick out your snowmobile or ATV, go to icefishingtoday.com. We've got a special section on there on just how to do it. And I tell you, it's a lot of good information. Dave, what do you say you take me out and start catching some crappie? Climb aboard, we'll go do, go do some catching. Looking forward to it. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty easy help fish, and I hope. Last time I didn't catch very many fish, so I wanna catch fish this time. What do you wanna think this is the spot? Who, who am I to tell Mr. Ice Fishing if this is the spot or not? You know where you're going. How on earth did you pick this spot out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, you know, this is kind of my home lake. I fish here a lot, but, you know, I do have a map here. Oh, okay. I can kind of take a look at it and see where we're, where we're fishing. Oh. We're, we're fishing this little narrows area between this hump right here and this shoreline. Anytime it narrows down, the crappies like using them areas. So there's lots of spots in this. Like, here's one, here's one, here's another one up here. You know, so, you know, we could just keep looking around, but I'm sure there's some right in here. How many holes do you normally expect to drill? I mean, are these fish moving around a lot, or we just got to find the sweet spot? We just got to find the sweet spot. So sometimes you get a couple of holes, sometimes you only drill 30, 40 of them to find them. There's no doubt about it, folks, that when Dave Gens looks at an area, he really is almost leaning forward all the time, expecting to catch fish. He doesn't go out there hoping to catch fish. He knows the fish are in this area because he knows the lake and he's got experience and history with this body of water. But he has a real positive attitude. The fish are here and I will get them to bite. Nothing yet. Well, I didn't see anything back there either. Uh oh, here we go. We're starting to pick up a lot more fish here. But, uh, if they're be, they're not, we're going to be holding tight or they're going to be high in the water column? Well, I like to find the ones that are suspended up off the bottom. Them are the, the ones that are the easiest to catch. Well, we definitely have fish targets right above the bottom. Yeah, and there's, there's some Oh, there they there. are. There, there they, they are. are. <laughs> they probably moved around when you drilled the hole a little bit. Yep, there they are. You know, that's always something you can do, too, is after you 
go through and, and make sure you go back and check them holes again because sometimes they're, you just scare them away and they'll be back. Well, that, that is actually proof of that. The fish are starting to get, the signals are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. <clears throat> they're here. A couple here. more holes and we'll start fishing. Yeah, particularly one for me right next to where you're going to be catching. <laughs> Here's one. Look at the size of this one. Oh, my goodness. This is something. Oh, oh look. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, there we go, folks. That's a nice crappie. Thanks to Dave Gens. Showed us where to catch them, how to catch them. That was a nice fish there. Thank you, Mr. Gens. He basically said, always keep your bait in position where you can see it and try to fish for a specific fish. Don't try to just, if you see a bunch of fish, don't try to fish for them all. Look for one fish and, and, and focus on that fish. Now here's my lure here. And he says that these fish have been here at this 10 foot mark and just keep jiggling. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. I'm going to watch it. There he is. <laughs> just like Dave said, you watch the, the lure and the fish will come to it. And here's another crappie. Yeah. There we go. Actually with electronics, it makes it look kind of easy. Here we go. It's a good eating size crappie. Nothing too big. Now all I'm using here is, is an artificial lure called the little Adam, I think is what that's called. Corey Bechtold, uh, Bechtold, Bechtold has got a uh, segment in uh, Ice Fishing Today on the website on how to use artificials for catching crappies. And uh, since, since Corey's told me this technique, I've been trying it wherever I go. And I've been, oh look at this fish, he's coming up to my bait. That's a very good sign. That's a very good sign. He's gonna come right in. And he's, there he is. That's what it's all about, folks. That fish, you knew he was gonna bite. When the, he saw the bait coming down, he was biting it already. This is a crappie with a good attitude. Well, these are good, good eating size fish. They're not monsters, but. This is the FL18 from Vexilar. It was introduced into the product line in the year 2000 and really shook up the entire sonar fishing world because this was the first sonar with split screen technology. That's right. We actually were able to cut the screen in half, display the entire water column on one side, and then zoom in at the bottom six foot on the left side. Now what this enabled anglers to do was to give you unbelievable resolution close to the bottom. It gave you the same resolution in 60 foot as if you were fishing in six foot. So you can imagine the auto zoom feature of the FL18 was a real hit for the walleye and perch guys who fish really, really tight to the bottom. This unit comes with five different range modes and it also comes with a 10 step interference rejection button that you hit with the game. Now it comes standard with a 12 degree ice dew, so it gives you a little bit narrower cone so you can see better, closer, tighter to the bottom. This is the FL18 from Vexilar. I'm Tom Zanenko for Ice Fishing Today. Folks, when people say that Dave Gens can catch a limit of fish, and the Minnesota limit's only 10 fish, but he can literally catch fish as fast as he can drop the lines down. I mean, it doesn't even have to be trick photography to show Dave Gens catching fish. Yeah, box him up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Dave, the viewers want to know, obviously they found your technique for catching fish here today. What are the, some of the hot new trends going on in ice fishing today? Well, I, I think plastics are really coming on, you know, all the way across the country. You know, when I first started to see people using plastic, it was much more in that uh, Wisconsin, you know, Milwaukee, Janesville, down into uh, northern Illinois. Wow. You know, it's made me, you know, take note. You can see I'm still a, like live bait, but I've got a complete array of plastic. And, you know, our rods are getting better. You know, the... the uh, the rod manufacturers are, are starting to take note that that the ice angler will pay for a good quality rod and reel. Mm -hmm. You know, I, is that one big enough? Nah, nah, we'll let them go. I think we probably got 10 in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we've got to catch your limit too now. No, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not taking fish home today. Oh, okay. You know, so, you know, mobility is becoming part of it, you know, and then obviously, you know, I can't really call, you know, the Vexlar a new trend. It's something that we've been doing for 25 years now, I suppose, is when we started, we started using these. Right. But in uh, definitely in some parts of the country, it, it is new. 
and and once you have one you certainly will not want to go without it you'll turn around and go home you know it'd be like uh, right now if i didn't didn't have this i'd have a blindfold on I don't know how you get these fish are all over the place. I mean, there's no way that you could catch these fish without a Vexlar. Uh, well, you could catch one or two, maybe. You know, you go two arm lengths down and yeah, and just sit there them. and uh, hope there's one there. Strikemaster has been the leading innovator of ice fishing technology for more than 60 years. The Whisper Quiet Strike Light Four Stroke Auger features the industry's lowest emission rating. The Laser Mag Express is the benchmark for power augers, delivering 170 RPMs of ice cutting force. The Glide Light Sled lets you drill more holes, catch more fish, and have more fun on the ice. Log on to StrikeMaster.com for more information. Want to double your ice fishing success? It's easy. Just check out IceFishingToday.com. No, you don't have to pay anything or sign up to become a member. You just need to have the desire to catch more fish and have fun doing it. IceFishingToday.com is like no other fishing website because it's driven by informative video clips. As an extra bonus, you'll be able to purchase some hard to find ice fishing products directly from the IFT website. So start catching more fish this season, thanks to IceFishingToday.com. If you want to catch more fish this ice fishing season, go to IceFishingToday.com. A little, little tugger there. I tell you, folks, in today's program, we've caught a lot Hello. of really nice fish. And, and I tell you, in today's program, you only saw a small section of the fish that Dave caught. He's caught dozens of these. <laughs> now, of course, you let him go. But, but, folks, catching nice crappies like this is what Dave Gens does. And if you'd like to see some of the action that we didn't have time to show you in today's program, check out icefishingtoday.com. There you'll find the outtakes and the extra specials that Dave did and uh, I tell you, it really is amazing to watch this guy catch fish. Now, also, Dave did a very interesting story on why people consider him Mr. Ice Fishing. So you want to check out that section for sure. There's no doubt about the fact this guy can yank <laughs> in fish. Dave, it's amazing. Well, here's a, that one's meat. That's right. Well, I tell you what, that's, that's all we got time for today, Dave. That's it. That's it. I'm Tom Zanako, along that's with it. Mr. Ice Fishing. Dave Gens. We hope to see you on the ice. Wow, you just, you can rack them and stack them, Dave. Ice Fishing Today is brought to you by these fine sponsors. To learn more about today's show or discover more about the great sport of ice fishing, be sure to check out icefishingtoday.com.